hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you this video is about what one should know before learning any javascript framework the three gents i'm java by javascript framework i mean the three gents react view and angular okay not long ago i tweeted what one should know before jumping in learning any other job learning any javascript framework i had a lot of replies but i will tend to share with you my opinion what you should know before jumping to any javascript framework um after that i will share with you the replies i had i had a lot of interesting replies from my under my tweet and i will share with you guys what the community are seeing i also want to know you guys your opinion so stay tuned to the end Peace. People tend to quickly jump to these giant frameworks. By giant frameworks, I mean React, Vue, and Angular. Angular. They are the most popular in the community now. After a brief exposure to the basics of JavaScript. So before you quickly move to a framework, you should know JavaScript fundamentals. By JavaScript fundamentals, I mean basic syntax, variables. You should know the difference between let, cons, and var. You should also have a good understanding of arrays and some array methods. I have a playlist for that on my YouTube channel. You should check out. You should check it out. Not forgetting an in-depth understanding of object literals. Also, not forgetting event listeners. At least you should know the syntax, how to use event listeners, and some two or four event listeners. You should know them. Solid understanding of functions, the concept of anonymous functions, and more. There are various ways to loop in JavaScript. I bet you should know your loops before you move to any framework. Conditionals is also a key. Your if and else statements, not forgetting your ternary operator. You should understand the syntax and know when to use it. With this, I can say you are a beginner JavaScript developer. For the intermediate level, even though you won't be doing a lot of DOM manipulations with these various frameworks, I bet a solid understanding of the document object model is needed before you jump to a framework. Not forgetting what people call modern JavaScript. Most JavaScript frameworks these uses these features a lot. The ES5 from ES5 going models how to import and export JavaScript files. Also understand default export should probably use this a lot. A solid understanding of OOP, which stands for object oriented programming in JavaScript, because frameworks like React uses classes a lot. Still on modern JavaScript, I bet you wouldn't jump to learning React without knowing what an arrow function is not forgetting promises and asynchronous requests someone said data javascript developer we always call back i guess it's true we should probably know distracting before you move on and the concept of spread operators lastly high order array functions the sort map produced for each filter and more with this i can confidently say you are ready you are ready to start learning any javascript framework being it react view and angular basically the goal is for you to differentiate between what is part of a framework and what is pure vanilla javascript okay with this i can show i, I bet you can you'll be able to differentiate what is part of the framework and what is not part now let's quickly check out the response i had from my tweet thank you so if you made it here you did a great job thank you don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel okay i'll move on to read some interesting replies i had under my tweet okay the first interesting reply was from this lady deborah kurata she said everyone learns differently it is very possible to learn a framework directly as as you run into something you don't know like a specific javascript statement branch off and learn it then come back and move forward then set up a bunch of roadmaps for yourself okay this might be this is a great point to consider but what how will you know that um this feature this um statement is a pure javascript statement and this is part of the um framework itself you can't differentiate between what's part of the framework and what's part of the what's part of vanilla javascript that's the main goal i think that's the main goal you should be able to differentiate between what is J vanilla javascript and what is part of the framework okay another interesting reply was from this guy um i'm coming um jacob paris he said all you need is access to a community that can help you work through your problems no other prior priors are necessary my first javascript ever was diving into full stack meteor js on node okay this could wish i don't think on okay so you are going to ask anything you want to do how will you do this how will you do this you'll be we're going to ask on twitter or maybe facebook or something like that for someone to help you anything let's say how to 
I would just say, for example, how to create an array. If you don't know anything about JavaScript, you're just a beginner. Yeah, how to create an array, how to um, convert string to everything you are going to ask. I don't think it makes sense here, but I want to also you guys know your opinion here. Okay. Okay, the rest of the, the replies are... The rest of the replies are basic jump, basic JavaScript, dumb manipulation, map, produce, uh, this high order array method, and I think you should know that before you move to any JavaScript. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Peace.